Yes, it's another week, and that means another PlayStation Store sale. Even though the PlayStation Store is already running like 15 or 1600 deals right now, now they're changing things up a little bit, and they are running a PlayStation VR sale. However, it should be noted that some of these games are VR optional titles, and they're still playable without VR, so that is something that you should be aware of. So even if you don't have a VR headset, there are a couple of deals that you can still take advantage of. And if you do have a VR headset, well, then there's some really good deals, like Astrobot Rescue. Rescue Mission, which is 50% off for $9.99. A lot of people consider this to be the best VR game, and for $10, that's a pretty good buy. A great platformer there. Gorn is 40% off for $11.99. You save 10% more if you are a Plus subscriber for $9.99. Creed Rise to Glory is $11.99. Borderlands 2 VR is $24.99. I would have liked to see that a little bit cheaper. It's cool to play Borderlands in VR, but $25 for that is a little bit dicey, given that the Legendary Collection, or yeah, I think it's called the Legendary Collection, which includes Borderlands one, two, and the pre-sequel is like $19.99, so yeah, when you factor that in, that's kind of a pricey, but nevertheless, Walking Dead Saints and Sinners is $27.99, uh, one of the best VR games that you can uh, get, an excellent game, and if you're a Walking Dead fan, obviously you'll enjoy it, but you don't really need to be a Walking Dead fan to play the game. Uh, Persona Dancing Endless Night Collection is $16.49, so this is one of those deals that even if you don't have a VR headset, you can still pick that up. And if you like Persona music, if you like music rhythm games, you're probably going to really enjoy that. Arizona Sunshine, on the other hand, is $11.99. Pretty good deal on that, and that's a pretty well-regarded VR title as well. Firewall Zero Hour, which was a plus game in the past, is $9.99. Fruit Ninja VR, $10.49. Fruit Ninja VR is actually quite a bit of fun, and you do save an additional 10% if you are a plus subscriber on that, so that would be $8.99 if my math is correct. Everybody's Golf VR is $14.99. Can't go wrong with Everybody's Golf. Persona 5 Dancing in Starlight, $8.99. That's standalone. Winds and Leaves is 20% off for $23.99. Paranormal Activity, The Lost Soul, $5.99. Intruders Hide and Seek, $1.99. So two bucks for that is pretty uh, ridiculous. Walking Dead Onslaught, the Deluxe Edition is 50% off for $19.99. The Persistence is 66% off for $10.19. That's another game you can play without a VR headset. So if you want to check that out, you'll have the option to do so. On top of that, you've got Accounting Plus for $4.79, ATV Drift and Tricks for $3.74, uh, Killing Floor Incursion is $7.99. Farpoint, which was one of the very first VR games I played, 50% off for $9.99. Pretty decent a shooter there. Um, definitely, you can tell it's an early VR title, but if you want to get into uh, what VR is all about, Farpoint is not a bad starting option. Sergiento VR is $11.39. That's a pretty cool game. Definitely would recommend that if you do have a VR headset. Psychonauts The Rhombus of Ruin is $4.99. Pretty good deal there. Ghost Giant $9.99. Another well-regarded VR title. Raw Data, another pretty well-known VR game, $9.99. Robinson The Journey by Crytek is $7.49. That game is one of the more technically, uh, you know, one of the more technical showcases of what VR can really do. If you want that, 750 is a pretty good buy given that it typically goes for 30 bucks. The Inpatient, 50% off for $9.99. Paper Beast, 60% off for $11.99. Pixel Rip, $19.95. That's $13.99. Save an additional 10% if you're a Plus subscriber. That'll take it down to, I believe, $10.99 or $11.99. Yes, $11.99. My math's a little bit all over the place. That is a throwback of a title. Pretty cool game with some slick presentation, and if you want something a bit old school but brought into the VR world, I think you'll like that quite a bit. You can also get Persona 3 Dancing in Moonlight for $8.99, so if you'd like to get those separately, you can do that. Probably would just recommend buying the bundle. Racket Fury is $6.99. That is table tennis. A Fisherman's Tale is $7.49, Viking Days $2.49, Battlezone Gold Edition is $8.74, Bravo Team $9.99, so you guys can check those out. What else we got? Eagle Flight, which is $4.99, that's a pretty good deal for Eagle Flight, which was done by Ubisoft. And, uh, yeah, that is one that, uh, is mandatory with VR. Uh, Beat Blaster, $7.99. NBA 2K VR Experience. I didn't even know that was a thing. That's $7.49. The Perfect Sniper is $4.99. Electronauts is $5.99. Apex Construct is $4.99, another pretty well-known one. Uh, Final Assault, $4.99. Pixel Rip 1989 is also on sale. That is $7.49 if you're not a Plus subscriber. If my math is correct, if you are a Plus subscriber, that would be $5.99, which is pretty decent. One Piece Grand Cruise is $4.99. That's kind of, like, don't look at that much as too much of a game. That's more of a 
showcase game without that much depth to it and um you know i'm not a big one piece fan so it's not like uh it was something that really appealed to me but hey some of you guys are into 900 episode animes so yeah check it out obviously that's a meme I just like saying that whenever anybody brings up One Piece. Tokyo Kronos is $17.99. That's a very story-driven game. If you're a fan of Danganronpa, Tokyo Kronos will be right up your alley. More of a mystery virtu uh, virtual novel, but it is also brought into... I should say... <laughs> uh, more of a mystery visual novel, but it's brought into virtual reality, if that makes sense. Um, Transference is 75% off for $6.24. What else? We got Torn, 75% uh, off for $7.49. Mortal Blitz is 75% off for $4.99. Altideus, a Beyond Kronos, is 30% off for $21, another Japanese title. There, Immortal Legacy, the Jade Cipher, is 50% off for uh, $9.99. They've got Riggs Mechanized Combat League, 50% off for $9.99. That game was good when it came out however i highly doubt that the um that the community is that active for it which is a bit of a bummer um but yeah as far as multiplayer games go uh firewall zero hour is probably the one to go with if you are looking for a multiplayer vr title gungrave vr is 70 percent off for 749 gungrave is a bit of a throwback hatsune miko vr is 50 percent off for 1249 they brought hatsune miku into a vr as well uh you've got beats fever that's 60 percent off for 799 uh pinball fx if you're into pinball uh eclipse edge of light is 749 what else we got? Along Together is 60% off for $5.99. Like I said, my VR experience isn't too much. Like, I've heard of a lot of these games, but I, you know, I played VR a lot when it initially came out, and then I kind of got pushed away from it just because of the hassle of a setup in my room just isn't that capable of setting it up. But obviously, a lot of steep discounts on these games. 50% off for Separation is $6.49. And remember that VR2 will probably be dropping in 2022 or 2023, and uh, that's going to streamline the VR experience quite a bit. It is going to be an additional purchase on top of your PS5, but, you know, them's the breaks on that one. But a lot of games supremely discount here and seeing significant discounts you know 50% off 80% off uh, deeper discounts with plus subscription so some pretty good deals all around I know not all of you guys have a VR headset but if you do some stuff to check out definitely some of the OG titles like firewall zero hour killing floor incursion uh, raw data those are the games I'm more familiar with a blood and truth is a great uh, action-oriented VR title as well if you want something a little bit more um, not necessarily big budget, but a little bit more akin to what you would play as an action-adventure title. I think Blood and Truth is something that you, you would enjoy, and one of the better VR games. And of course, Astrobot Rescue Mission, uh, most consider it to be the best VR game that has dropped. I'm not certain if Wipeout uh, HD Collection is on sale right now, but that is also a great VR experience if you're looking for that. But that's going to wrap up this one. Sound off with all of your thoughts in the comments section down below. Thank you for watching, and goodbye. Hey guys, we hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, make sure to hit the subscribe button, and if you're already subscribed, do us a favor and hit the bell icon. This way you'll be notified whenever we post a new video. That's the best way to keep up with all of our uploads, and we usually try to upload two videos a day. And with the bell icon hit, you'll be notified whenever we do upload a video. As always, thanks for watching.